Bubble raus. Gut. Are you ready to inject the wire? Put in the wire, push out. Wire is out. Push the wire. Get wire back. I like it ready a lot. Okay? Let's go. Let's do it, Mike. Beautiful. My name is Julian Chun. I'm an electrophysiologist in Frankfurt am Main. The city is, um, I think, in Germany, a very exciting place because it is the financial center of Europe. It is, on the other hand, very cozy. So it is an interesting mixture. Old Germany meets New Germany. CCB is an organization which is cardiologist-owned. So we look at our strategic decisions from a clinical perspective. Always think about how we may improve, how our workflows may be improved, but also what from technology side could be improved. Oh, that oh, is good. Yes. Uh -huh. I like that. Schön. Pulse field ablation offers the unique potential to produce a lesion without heating or cooling down tissue. And therefore, it could lead to safer ablation PFA creates an electrical field over a cellular membrane. And depending on certain parameters, uh, waveform, electrical field strength, duration, etc., um, the cell opens up. And if you have bigger pores and holes, the cell will not be able to close again. And this is electroporation. The cardiomyocyte is specifically sensitive to this form of energy source and thereby the myocyte only, but not the nervous cells, not the endothelium and not the esophagus may go into cell death. And this is the um, attractiveness of pulse field ablation in the context of um, cancer ablation for cardiac arrhythmias. It does not matter too much who is the operator. It is way less operator dependent compared to manual RF ablation, for instance, which is an art. Um, Electroporation is also an art, but it can be performed by more artists, I believe. We have been treating, I would assume, 550 patients by now using the Fairpulse device. I was really looking forward to get hands on it and to use it. I was convinced it may offer a major advantage for patients. And I was surprised by its speed and I am also impressed by the high rate of durable lesions, which we have observed. It goes from this flower into a basket configuration. It offers the potential to really get a nice position and full contact to all critical sites of the pulmonary vein. And therefore, it allows um, in a certain recipe for very efficient ablation um, at each pulmonary vein. Flower, okay, wire back, back. I'm along. Huh? Easy. That's beautiful. Textbook. Its acute effect is very, very impressive because very often with already the very first shot, 2.5 seconds ablation, the first signals are gone. Oh, beautiful. But what's even more important is safety due to the nature of its non-thermal lesion formation. Um, it should not create PV stenosis. Pulmonary vein stenosis can be a very terrible complication from RF ablation. And so far, we have not observed any PV stenosis in all our patients who came back. And I'm convinced that PV stenosis is not a major concern using um, electroporation. It should not create atriosophageal fistula. And um, we have been investigating this topic. In our own data, we, for instance, scoped patients after a PVA ablation procedure. And in the endoscopy, we have not been observing any thermal damage at this point in time. So this is sort of reassuring. Many, many patients these days are already asking specifically for getting treatment uh, using this device because they also learned about its potential um, safety benefits. Number two. Good. Pulse field ablation has the potential to really become a game changer. Thank you very much. This is, I think, sort of the kickoff for an exciting new chapter.